Hello, my beautiful Aries. This is your October 2020 reading. We have three decks for you to check out. Um, this is just, I wanted to have your card here so that we had a good signifier. Normally I try to keep them over here, but sometimes I forget to change them between readings because I'm just in it, you know? So we're going to put it right here until we need to move it. We have three decks. Deck number one is the Agra and Poe Tarot with the Gold Stone. And here is the back of these cards. And an idea of what the cards themselves look like. For the second deck, the Tarot of Haunted House, we have a superb druzy. And the Tarot of Haunted House. This is what the backs of those look like. And the kind of artwork that you can expect inside. And last, but not least, we have the Ghost Tarot by David Corsi with a Milky Quartz Crystal. Come on, Crystal. All right. I don't know if you guys can see the clouds in it. It's kind of pretty. And this is what the backs look like of those cards and the type of artwork you can expect to see inside. So, go ahead and resonate for a moment on which pile is right for you. And I'm going to take that moment to ask that if you like these readings, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe and turn on that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload. And most definitely, drop me a line. I love talking with you guys. You guys are awesome. Some of you guys just, when I don't see you in the comments, I get worried. Because I love you. You're family now. So, alright Aries. If you need a bit more time, pause that video. And let's get going. Sorry, the ghost tarot gave me a bit of a problem there. So, I'm going to put your card right here so you can see it. And I don't fog up the card field. Again, here is your gold stone, the base. And using the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot by Rose Wright and Eugene Smith. I'm going to give it a couple regular old shuffles thinking of my lovely Aries you guys are so amazing I love how you just kind of know what to do when to do it you guys are amazing I've said that I'm sorry alright one more just for fun because it feels right. And now we'll switch to hand to hand. How have you guys been? How's your summer been? Life in the time of Corona, am I right? Oops, I got one here. Oh, sorry for knocking you. I hope you don't mind. We have the Eight of Cups to start out with. Some of you are leaving something behind. Or you need to leave something behind. Or you've already left something behind. We have the Seven of Cups. You have a lot more choices when you leave something behind, apparently. That's a nice beginning. 
that tells me that we're getting better. Things are getting better. You got options. Some you may never have even realized you had. We have the star. Aquarius dropping in. This is a card of hope, of optimism. Renewing your faith. Renewing your love of life. Taking time to meditate. Reflect on who you are, who you want to be, and where you're going. And I'm going to take this guy because he's just staring at me. <laughs> kind of literally. The Six of Pentacles. A give and take relationship. Something solid, something dependable that you can count on. Someone who gives you as much love as you give them. Those are always nice. We have the Four of Wands that speaks of a relationship, of a marriage. But more than that, the Four of Wands is also a card of being right within yourself. So... But in this layout, I kind of feel like maybe some of you had some fears about relationships and you realize your partner had options and that kind of renewed your, I don't want to say desire, but wish to have them. And you realized this had to be a fair and balanced relationship. Here we are. If you're feeling overwhelmed... You're going to have to make a decision. Or if you're feeling super overwhelmed, maybe put off making a decision until you can talk to someone who can help you sort it out a little bit better. And then we're going to look at the bottom of the deck, which gives us the Ten of Cups, a card of happiness, a card of healing, a card of hope, a card of having everything you desire, having enough. So, you have some good cards here. A lot of cups. There's a lot of feels going on for you in regards to a relationship. This could be a business relationship or a personal relationship, but it's a relationship that you have a lot of hope about, that you really see as a, an option, and you may have left behind either another relationship or um, the hope of a relationship with someone else to pick this other person as your option because you just really saw them as a superstar or they saw you as a superstar. And this relationship is balanced or balancing out. Um, there is marriage here. And this doesn't necessarily always mean marriage in the legal sense. This can just be two people like deciding to not date other people and have a monogamous relationship for a good long time. But there is a situation coming up because you have two twos right here next to each other. And this one is about feeling a little overwhelmed, trying to balance things, trying to please everybody. And the Two of Swords talks about making a decision. And this says you're going to have to make a decision about how you do things and who you decide to please because you can't you can't put off making there's a certain decision that you can no longer put off making and I know you're overwhelmed by it but it's a decision you're going to have to make because not making it doesn't get you the happiness you want I'm going to pull from the Halloween Oracle actually let me shuffle that um, this is the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco and Jimmy Manton. And I love these. And I'm sorry, but does this not look like Joyce Summers, Buffy Summers' mom? Sorry. Or rather, the actress that played her. But just the clothes and everything kind of reminded me of Joyce. And the joy, probably, in the name. You guys watch Buffy? Do you still watch Buffy? Do you not know what I'm talking about? So I apologize. All right. We have the death card, which is a Scorpio. 
and the invisibility card, which means you're going to need to be authentically yourself. There may be something that needs to end in your life, or there may be a, a Scorpio that you kind of need to stand up for yourself with or be authentic about what you want out of the relationship with them. Um, Eight of Cups, leaving behind something, lots of options, having hope, balanced relationship. This is this could be like leaving a job to get a new job, and the new job is working out. You might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed. There's some decisions that have to be made. You maybe can't put off making them, but the Nine of Wands kind of came out underneath the Ten of Cups sitting here, and the Nine of Wands is a card of like, the worst is over. So you have total happiness and the worst is over. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry anymore. So I kind of feel like this death card here is more about you changing. You want to be seen. You want to be seen by someone as something important. So you're making the changes necessary. Not necessarily for them. Because with this here, it's more like it's for you. You want to be happy. You want to move away from this. You want to move towards something with hope. You want to move towards something balanced. You kind of want to put, like I get the almost funeral vibe sometimes with the this Four of Wands in particular. You kind of want to put stuff to rest because you're feeling overwhelmed. But don't put off making decisions and be authentically yourself. Tell your truth within these decisions and put an end to, to this almost, I don't want to say procrastination, but yeah, that's about probably the best word to use. Um, at the bottom of the Halloween deck, we have ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. You could be dealing with a family member or a family member could be dealing with somebody that you're helping them out with. Um, there could be a family member dealing with some problems and you're helping them put an end to these problems. Um, just be honest, be authentically you. Don't try to change um, if you don't want to or if you don't feel like you have to. But you have happiness and the end of bad things is your energy here. So. And then the Hierophant under that, which also speaks of marriages. The Five of Pentacles in the reverse, which talks about, you know, you were feeling lacking and now abundance is coming in. So, yeah. Good things are on their way for you, Aries. Just make sure that you're keeping positive. And when they talk about, like, when I talk about a, a measured relationship like this for that kind of thing. What I'm talking about isn't so much because there's going to be times in everybody's life where one person's doing more than the other. It can't always be 100% equal, but when they have the opportunity to do for you, if they do for you just as well as you did for them, that's equal. Um, but yeah, it's almost like you, you guys have a decision to make about a relationship. You've been kind of putting it off. Don't put it off. If it's something that you need to end, end it. There are a lot of opportunities that are going to be out there for you. If this is a business decision, <coughs> there's something you need to walk away from. Perhaps you're at the bargaining table and you're kind of stuck on a point. Well, there is a point that they're not going to... They're not going to budge. They're not going to bend. You're going to have to walk away from the idea that you can have that thing. But the Seven of Cups says there are other options. Like, if you're going through a divorce with someone, this is, well, I want that chest of drawers that your Aunt Mabel had, and I want the dresser, and I want the bed, and I want the couch and the end tables. And this is you going, tell you what, you can have the couch and end tables if I can have the bedroom set. And they say, sure, you can have the bedroom set because it was your aunt's anyway. It's a compromise. It's fair and balanced. You're working together to sort things out. 
and it kind of almost puts an end to this relationship in a nice way. If you're feeling overwhelmed and you need to step away, like sometimes I get like you're feeling overwhelmed because you're not making a decision. But for some of you, you're feeling overwhelmed and you're not making a decision, but that's the exact thing you need to do. Like you don't want to fight with somebody over something stupid. You want to take your time to make the proper decision for you. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, if they're constantly pressuring you to make this decision, tell them you need to take the time and take that time because you're worth taking time for. You're absolutely worth it. So don't feel overwhelmed. Um, yeah, there's an, there is an, a definite end to something but there's such a new beginning coming that has you kind of, I almost want to say feeling like you again. And it's beautiful. And I love it. And I love you guys. And I want to see you looking snazzy. I want to see you having these options. I want to see you with this Ten of Pentacles. Like, I want this for you. Because you guys absolutely 100% deserve this stuff. Hopefully you can agree with me on that. And if you can't, then do the things necessary so that you can deserve this stuff. But I don't see you needing to do the things necessary. I kind of see like you already have been doing the things necessary. Because we have all these options. We have the Ten of Cups as your energy. So good things are coming in. Um, just if you need to make a decision and you're feeling overwhelmed take a step back um, or the other thing you can do is make a quick decision write it down somewhere and then take a step back and see in a few hours in a few days whatever time you have if you still feel the same way because then you know what your initial decision was and you can decide whether that's something that you want to do again or not all right, well, I love you, my gorgeous Goldstone group, and I think you are strictly amazing. Thank you for taking your time out, and I hope you have an awesome day. Bye, Aries. All right. Um, let me pause and shuffle these. Screw it, I'll just go ahead and shuffle them on camera. That way nobody can say I stack the deck. I'm just going to shuffle them. Um, I don't have any timestamps here, but if you're watching straight through, I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I'm sorry for the pause here. And all the flabber-jabber of the cards. Really paused it just for a second to say, never mind. In case I pull any clarifiers, I'm pulling them from this deck, and I wanted to make sure it was clean because I used it in the last. Here we go. Pile number two. My gorgeous, superb, druzy people. He's just so superb. And the Tarot of Haunted House. Again, the backs of the cards, the artwork. And we're going to do, <clears throat> I usually do three ripple shuffles, but today I'm kind of going by my gut. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's five, sometimes it's two. No, it hasn't been two, but it's been three, five. So we're just going to roll with it. Hopefully you don't mind. All right. Wow, got some stuff jumping. We have a solid new beginning coming your way. That's nice to see because right here, you put an end to some pain, some suffering, some heartache. And here you are having some options. You may have been drawn towards pile number one, the Agra Po Tarot. 
Um, if so, hi. <laughs> Good to see you again. All right, so you have a solid new beginning coming your way. There was something that hurt you that you kind of put an end to. And um, putting an end to that is giving you a new beginning. And an epiphany with the Ace of Swords here. Cleaning her sword after battle. We have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. This is coming out of a time where you can't sleep, where you're stressed to the max, where you're not sure what to do. For some of you, this I almost, this is going to sound weird, but it almost seems like, like a lottery win. Um, we have the Knight of Swords. This is in Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. <coughs> Someone who likes to defend others, someone who likes to jump into things, someone who um, kind of acts before he thinks sometimes, or she. We have the Three of Cups here, talking about either a third party celebration or just having something to celebrate. Then we have the Five of Cups, which talks about mourning, sadness, grief, heartache. And the Two of Wands, which talks about, well, planning for the future, looking ahead to, to see what you want, where you want to be, where you want to go, and making the choices and asking the questions you need to ask to get the answers to get you there. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to get the... It's an interesting reading. Some of you are dealing with a third party situation. And you kind of... You want a new solid start with someone. You kind of have a new idea of how you're going to go about that. You're going to put an end to the past pain or that they brought upon you. You're not going to worry about it anymore. You're going to realize you have options, they have options. You're not going to defend them anymore. You're tired of the third party situation. You're, you're grieving this past relationship and you're getting ready to move on. So some of you, October is bringing healing from a past relationship, from a past business relationship even. Like you felt slighted or hurt or like this is like really betrayed. You felt really betrayed and hurt by this person. Um, again, a third party relationship could have been possible. Um... But there's grief hard here, so if it was a third-party relationship, I feel like you already knew about it. Because this is way before this. Does that make sense? Some of you, it's the other way around. Some of you are actually... You kind of feel like you have a new start, even though you know it's going to cause someone pain. You have a lot more options than you thought you did. And this third person brings you a lot less stress and kind of makes you feel like a superhero, like a white knight, like, but you know that you're going to be hurting somebody else. So the cards are telling you to look long-term at where you want to go and what you want to do. So you're not cutting anybody or stabbing anybody in the back. You may not be worried about this now. You may think it's nothing now. This could just be online talking to someone or in text messages talking to someone, or even on the phone talking to someone, but this is not a good look for some of you. For others of you, this is you putting away that past pain, that past hurt, realizing you do have options, stopping the stress, stopping the worry, and moving forward into things that make you happy, into celebrating your accomplishments in life, doing a full morning of, you know, whatever this pain was, like letting it go, getting it out, it's done, it's over, you're planning your life now, where you want to go, where you want to be, who you want to be, how you want to move forward. And it's beautiful. I'm going to grab a couple of oracle cards. And we'll take a look and see what...
let's see what the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco and Jimmy Matten has to say. Well, the bottom card is Mummy Change. Some of you have been in a third-party relationship, and you're putting an end to it. Um, you know they're an option, and it kind of eases some stress and worry on your mind for some reason. But you're wanting to be a good person, so you're dropping out of this third-party relationship. And though it causes you some sadness, you're looking for it into the future. So that could be the change. Some of you are realizing you deserve better than to be in a third-party relationship and you're putting an end to it and you're moving on to something better. Some of you are regaining control of your life or possibly gaining control of your life for the first time. Some of you may be feeling like you're out of control or someone's trying to control you. We have eternal love here. Love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. So it's also very possible with the Five of Cups here being a card of mourning that there is someone that you love that passed away. You had just gotten a new opportunity to be with someone and perhaps, yeah, someone passed away. But it's like there's, there's, there's options about your stress. Like, someone passed away and you're feeling the stress. It's possible you may not want to go to a funeral because you're afraid a third party is going to show up um, or because you were the third party in this situation. It's possible that, for some of you, that um, you just don't want to go to the funeral because there's someone you don't want to see. Someone you used to be close with and used to celebrate with, but you don't want to see them because you feel like they betrayed you. Uh, cards are saying don't worry about this. Just plan to go and be respectful because you'll you'll be sad if you miss out on saying goodbye to the person that you love for something that you probably won't even remember in 20 years. And if you do remember it in 20 years, then I apologize. But I do feel like there is some control that you need to give up in order to change. And it's possible there is, for some of you, a very controlling relationship that you need to give up and put an end to. And you get the opportunity, maybe financially, someone helps you out and you're able to put an end to that which was hurting you and you find you have some more and more options in life. You're not stressing. You're able to sleep. Things are good. This person really helped you out and that's why they're kind of the third party. But, you know, celebrate who you are. Definitely take time to mourn the relationship or, you know, celebrate the death of the relationship, if you will. It will do you some good. Um, but I see you at, toward the end of October focusing more on planning for the future and where you want to go. Um, some of you are taking control of your life life and making a decision between two people. Because you have the three of cups here. You could be making a de decision between three people. But whatever it is, you're mourning it. You're letting it go. You're basically saying it's dead and buried. And you're looking into the future for where to go next. And I'm proud of you if you've been through a rough time and now you're going into the good. There is going to be somebody here who does love you, who is not controlling, who will, you know, help you in any way, shape, or form that they can, um, even as you change, because they love you so very much. So, that is what I have for you guys. I'm actually just going to pull these three right up here and jack lantern protection is right underneath in case that means anything so that is what I have for you guys I want to thank you my lovely Aries for taking time out of your day to watch this reading and I want to remind you that Whatever this is you're putting an end to, it's going to stop some sort of pain in your life. Um, you're going to stop hurting physically, mentally, whatever it is. 
it's putting an end to that pain and it's allowing you to move forward with less stress, feeling better and able to sleep. So take heart and look toward the future. Look toward the future. Make sure you ask the questions of yourself where you want to go. See, the funny thing is you have an ace of pentacles and an ace of swords here telling you one and one makes two. So with this new financial start and this new idea coming to you, you're going to be able to go into the future and decide where you want to go and what you want to do. I love you guys. Let me give you one more look at your beautiful stone. Gorgeous, just like you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Goodbye, my lovely haunted house Aries. All right. I'm just going to do a couple quick shuffles and then I will do a couple shuffles of the tarot or the oracle cards so that they are ready. We will get on to the ghost tarot. So if you're sticking around, sorry it's taking so long. Um, I do have timestamps down below. But I'm about to get started. Just a moment. <sighs> sorry about my fumbly hands. My gorgeous ghost tarot folk, you had the milky quartz crystal, come on, really, oh, I'm sorry guys, it's one of those days for me and I just can't seem to get anything right today, so... As far as the camera goes. So it's a milky quartz. It kind of looks like it has clouds in it. It's very, very beautiful. And if it would ever allow me to show it on camera, I'm sure people would be very happy to see it. <laughs> you also chose the Ghost Tarot by David Corsi. Again, some of the images you will see. I hope August is and September has been good to you, my lovely Aries. I hope that only good things are coming your way. And I hope that you are able to realize your full potential, making you and everyone around you happy because you're happy. Because there is nothing better in this world than a happy Aries. You guys are so much fun. And so just, your spirit is just so infectious when you're happy. We start out with the Six of Wands. All right, you're getting some recognition. Hard fought battles. Excellent. You deserve that recognition when you work hard like that. Some of you have been really busting your butts. Thank you for working so hard. We have the Eight of Swords here saying that maybe you were feeling a bit trapped in a situation. Um, like you don't really have a choice in the matter. <coughs> or like you don't know where to go. You could just be feeling a little bit stuck, a little bit unsure. Wow. Well, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth signs coming to help you out or to give you some assistance. We have the Ace of Cups, a solid new beginning in love coming your way. We have, are these all upside down? They are all upside down. Okay. So we have the Justice card. 
means justice is going to come your way and with the ace of cups there there might there could be a wedding but I, I don't i don't really see a wedding well okay we have the lovers card here so this could also be binding contracts with work or legal documents how funny and different oh i love this Look at this one, all stuck and on the edge, unsure of where to go, blindfolded, handcuffed, scared out of their wits. And here you are, just flying free. Just forget being scared, I'm just going to fly. That is so cool. Sorry. At the bottom here, we have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles showing up in all three Aries readings. So you all are um, sort of looking for a balanced relationship with someone. This could be a balanced relationship with work, a balanced relationship with someone in your life, a balanced relationship with your boss, your family members. But with the Four of Wands here, this and the, you know, the Lover's card here, the Ace of Cups here, this speaks more of like a romantic connection. Um, Four of Wands in this deck is all about marriage, relationships. The Seven of Pentacles says you've been waiting for something to happen, waiting patiently. The Five of Swords says you're going to be victorious, but be careful how you act when you're victorious. Don't do that nya 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 kind of thing. We have the Tower moment when false foundations crumble crazy things start happening and your world gets torn asunder but doesn't always have to be in a bad way the hanged man is here telling you to change the way you're looking at a situation or this tower moment is coming in to change the way you're looking at a situation we have the page of swords which speaks of well gossip it talks about Being cutting with your words. It talks about learning something new, but getting too into it, too involved in it. Can you still see if it looks? I want you to see that six of <clears throat> pentacles there. Because that's a lovely card. I feel like you're looking for a give and take relationship here. And we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone loving, caring. All right. These are the Oracle cards. We will give you one of those in a little bit. Let me take a look at this full reading. You've got more cards than anybody else did tonight. So give me just a second, my lovely ghost tarot Arians and Arieses, Aries. Comment down below, let me know. What do you guys, what's the plural of people from, with Aries signs? Is it Aries? I don't want to say Arians. That doesn't, that doesn't sound right to me. I want to say Aries with a comma at the end. So, you're getting recognition. You were feeling sort of stuck, stagnant, like you weren't going to move anywhere. Then this earth sign, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, came in. Someone very caring, someone who is really good at building material things. They offered you a new offer, like a, a new job, a new position, meeting like this you meet this person that you love through this earth sign, or this earth sign could be the person that you love. It brings justice into your life. We have the lover's card here. So you're doing something that you love. You're feeling free. You're going from this to this. And it's such a juxtaposition. And, you know, you're happy. You know, this relationship is something you've waited for patiently. And I feel like it's a victory, but at what cost? There may be false foundations that you have about yourself or what you should do, what you should not do, how a, a wife should act or a husband should act, how they shouldn't act. And um, this relationship may change your viewpoint, your stances on all of that stuff, because it gives you sort of a lesson 
that you need to learn in a loving way for some of you. This is a relationship that is very balanced. I mean, you've got you've got the scales here with justice. You've got the scales here with the six of pentacles. This is a balanced and fair relationship. The the lovers, the justice, the four of wands, the ace of cups. This all speaks to me of a marriage, of a, a very solid, dependable, long-term, long-lasting relationship. That's what I see when I look at this. Um, maybe you think that like, oh, I'm never going to get married. Marriage is awful. Marriage is horrible. Marriage is stupid. But then you meet this person and after a while of being together, that's what this patience is. This relationship is great. You've been patient. You've been growing and it's been beautiful. And then there's a victory. Your tower kind of smashes down. Maybe they ask you to marry them and you're able to see the other side of things. And it, you know, you move forward with a lesson and a very, very happy heart. I mean, look at these two. They're loving each other. And it's, he's, you know, having the memory of these past times, these times right here. Just so much love in this reading. It's so beautiful. If this is not about a, a romantic relationship, I feel like you're going to be getting the recognition you deserve at work. You're getting the promotion. You're getting the responsibility that you can handle. You're loving it and you're good at it. This is something that is meant for you. And you go from like feeling stuck to feeling free and happy. You love what you're doing. You love your job. You're being really patient. It's going to pay off for you. Something is coming um, that I don't think you're going to see coming, but after it comes, you're going to be changing the way you look at and deal with things. When I see something like that, I feel like promotion because right after it is learning something new that you're going to love. So it's like, it all ties in together with, you know, going into a management program or getting a new job that you really, really like. And, um, yeah, but there's, there's something here that I just feel like you don't feel it's going to happen or you don't think it's possible. And then blammo, this thing comes along and is like, totally possible. How you doing? We're here for you. And you're just, you're, you're beaming. I mean, look at how happy, look at the smile. So much happiness. And it's in so many of these cards. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. She's smiling. So there's a bit of happiness coming your way, I feel, but a change of a change of position in some way, shape, or form. This could be you deciding to quit your job and you're like, oh no, did I quit? You know, I put in all this time. Did I cut my nose off to spite my face? And then bammo, here's your new job offering you something amazing that changes your entire life. Maybe it puts you up an income tax bracket level that allows you to have things you never thought possible. And I want that for you, Aries, because you deserve that. You guys work so hard. You are so wonderful and you help so many people. And I want to thank you for all you do to make this world a little better. So let's go ahead and we'll do some Oracle cards. This is the Halloween Oracle by Stacy DeMarco and Jimmy Manton. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So let's see what we got here. All right. We have vampire, emotional intelligence, and the witch, the earthly weaver of the worlds. Yeah, I feel like there's a real relationship budding in October for some of you. Or a real job or a real opportunity budding for some of you in October that is going to bring you to a place that has you feeling so 
balanced and happy and joyous and just doing everything that you love. And I, I think you guys deserve that. So that is what I have for you, lovelies. I hope that this earthly weaver of the worlds shows themselves for you. And I hope that you find yourself some serious happiness because you deserve it. All right? I love you guys. For those wondering what cards we used, I think I sent them while I was using them. And then also, I, they will always be in the description box down below. Drop me a line. And, um, yeah, you guys are amazing. Let me give you the Stacey DeMarco and Jimmy Manton, the Halloween Orco. I highly recommend. Love these cards. All right. Bye, Aries. See you next month.